also the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships, the 103rd staging of this oldest and most prestigious of events. Well, it's finals day, and my goodness me, what a lineup we have. We're starting with the women's doubles, an all Chinese affair with the current world champions and 2011 winners, Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang. They're up against Chen Shu and Zhao Yunlei. Then the men's doubles and the unseeded Liu Xiaolong and Chu Sihan up against Endo and Hawakawa who are trying to become the first Japanese men to win an All England title. Then the women's singles Tina Baum playing in her last tournament and therefore her last match. The Dane is up against Arachinok Intanon. Then men's singles and the world number one Li Chong Wei in his fifth consecutive final. He's up against Chen Long of China. Then the world and Olympic champions Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei of China up against the defending champions Tantoi Akmad and Lilian Natsi of Indonesia. Well, that's the lineup. It really should be a tremendous day. It's been a tournament of upsets, it's been a tournament of excitement, and today it will be a day when history is made because it is possibly going to be Tina Bowne's last match and she could end with a title appearing, of course, in her fourth. All England final. She's won the title twice before. So the first of our finals is this all Chinese affair. Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, the number one seeds, up against the qualifiers Chen Shu and Zhao Yunlei. We'll get the players on to court. Let's go down courtside and join our master of ceremonies, Howard Benson. Let's have a massive welcome! Let's raise the roof for the athletes for our first final of the day! The number one seeds from China, Wang Zhaoli and Yu the former champions, the current world champions, there they are, Yu Young on the left, Wang Xiaoli on the right, Wang Xiaoli, 23 years of age, her partner will be turning 27 next month. They are the number one seeds, world ranking of two, the pair ranked number one in the world at the moment, are not playing these championships as a pair. Their win loss record for the year, one team this tournament, it was the first Super Series tournament of the year. Incredible. 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 Well, look how impressive that's been so far. Won all of their matches, won in two straight games, including that 
for the volunteer match officials to officiate a final. This is the UNX All England Open Badminton Championships Women's Doubles Final between on my right, Yu Yang, Wang Shaoli, China. <laughs> and on my left, Cheng Shu, Zhao Junlai, China. Yu Yang serve to Chen Shu Lovell Blake. So the former champions, the current world champions, Yu Yang and Wang Xia Li, the far side of the world, as we look down. Well, there's Zhao Yun Lei. She's going to be a busy lady this afternoon because she's also in the mixed doubles final, the last of our five finals this afternoon. Oh, looks to me, I know we've only had two rallies, but it looks as if Wang Xia Li is a little bit Lover. nervous. Yeah, really difficult situation when you've got two pairs from the same country that know each other's game so well. And it's always a bit more nerve-wracking for the pair so that are the higher ranked and the ones that are expected One, to win. Two. So just needs to get into the long rallies to get those nerves out. Now, before we go any further, actually, I'm sure some of our... Uh, viewers uh, perhaps wondering why former world number ones, twice they've been in the final of the All England, Zhao Yulei and Zhang Shu, why on earth did they have to qualify? Just explain to us the system that makes that happen. Well, obviously, they were playing together formally, and then they've had, obviously, more than a year apart. So, obviously, playing with different partners. Once you've had a year, all of your ranking is complete. So you Four, need to start all over two. again. So you know, the benefit of having a new partner is you, you know you can use the ranking previously, but when you haven't played with somebody for an entire year, you have to start your rankings right from the bottom and just make your way up. Yeah. The rolling 12 months ranking list so every week. Serves over three, four. From 12 months previously, any results and then taken off the current ranking. Oh! Well, 
four. Chinese oh. pairs and China's dominance in the women's doubles is quite clear from the record books of this one England championships. This is the 11th time in 13 years that it's been an all Chinese women's doubles finals. Five, four. And in fact, China have won the women's doubles. Or when they win today, whichever pair wins will be the 16th time in 18 years that they've taken the title. Why, Anthony, is China so dominant in women's doubles? Well, I think they start training to a very, very high level from a much younger age than other nations. And obviously, they've got a very big country, a lot of athletes to choose from, where you know, they can tailor, make their, their particular players with the right kind of physiques. But they're training from, you know, ages of six years old, seven years old. They're learning the skills to possess in a doubles game. They work so hard all the time in training. I mean, they could be doing six to eight hours a day. And they just hit the shuttle a lot crisper than any of the other girls out there on the tour. A lot harder. Their head work is just that little bit better and a little bit more efficient. And just so confident. Good judgment. Eight, six. Yeah, very good judgment. Just picking up on one of the things you said there, Anthony. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, if if it's necessary to train six hours a day in high intensity, if the Chinese players are doing it, why aren't the rest of the world doing it also? Well, I think we've seen from this tournament, actually, that the rest of the world are starting to catch up. You know, we haven't seen China's domination in the ladies' singles, which we used to see. I think a lot of countries, and especially countries like Thailand, their emerging players clearly doing the similar sorts of training. But not in the women's doubles. That, that's my point. Why is it that it's the women's doubles that nobody seems to be getting close, whereas they are in the other four disciplines? That's a really difficult one, isn't it? I think, you know, China's ladies' doubles are just so strong that it is going to take quite some time for everybody else to catch up. You know, they're so dominant. I mean, one of the pairs hasn't dropped a set so far in this tournament. It just says how far they really are. And they're so skillful as well, Jill. It's not just the power and the speed. Their ability to be able to place the shuttle where they like, their double action, tricky shots, also much, much higher than everybody else. And it is just a, a huge challenge for everybody else to get their levels anywhere near that. To the mid-game interval, with a four-point advantage, the former champions, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang. And incredibly, Yu Yang today is appearing in her sixth All England final in six years. Having won three previous titles, two women's doubles, one mixed doubles. Mixed doubles, of course, with her hand bin. Women's doubles in 2010 with Du Jin. Well, I was wondering what on earth the problem was there, but she seemed quite happy, seemed to be smiling with her discussion with Ampar Burt Van Porenbeck. Plenty of Chinese fans. <laughs> 11-7. Yeah, plenty of Malaysian fans making their presence felt a little later Play. as well. Quite certain of that. Nice great defence from Chen Shu. Oh, it's just long. I was going to say that's clever. It was the right shot to play. Absolutely, it's a huge gap between their opponents down the middle. It seemed like a very intelligent shot, but there is a bit of a drift in the hall today. The drift coming. Well, sorry to interrupt you. There's a service fault there, struck above the waist. Yes, sorry. Where's the drift going, Anthony? It's coming from the end of um, Wong Xiaoli and Yu Yang towards their opponents. So any shuttles that they hit on a good length will then fly out the back. Over. And obviously, so the other pair Ten, basically went into a wind. So their shuttles will hold up a little bit more when they're hitting to a good length.
good placement of the smash from Wang Xiaoli. Serves over. Wang Xiaoli just has that extra bit of penetration overhead and in the mid court. It's very difficult at times to know how hard those shuttles are really coming at you. And because she does hit it harder than anybody else, it comes on you so quickly, you almost panic on defense. Seems to be pressurizing Cheng Shu. Yeah, certainly their attack was directed at her in that rally. Serves over. 11 14. Seeing the jump smash, sixteen twelve. Yeah, ladies really have taken the game on in terms of women's doubles. They're all the closest thing to the game, the men's doubles game that there is out there. To be able to do the jump smash takes a lot of power. Thirteen short lift so that her partner could move forward. And she gets out of the way, allowing Cheng Shu to thunder down that smash. Fantastic length. That's what I'm talking about in terms of the drift. She hit 14, that very, 16. very hard. Yu Young thinking it was going to go long. And just because she's playing into the wind, it drops right onto the back line. as we look down on the court, just a fraction long of that back line. I yeah, wasn't ready. Score was level. It's mm. uh, not good enough for when you miss the player. Earlier on in this final, hit a smash at 2.37. Thing to do. You don't want to lift it, huh? has great placement on the smash as well. It's not just the power, it's where she varies it one side to the backhand, the next to the forehand. On that occasion, aiming for the right hip of an opponent. Hardest place to defend. Ah! Well, I'm slightly surprised 19, about the positioning 16. of Zhao Yunlei here didn't retreat quickly enough. It was almost as if she was playing mixed doubles there. Serves over. 
17-19. Serves over. 20 game Here points. 17. Serve, gifting away game points. Oh. Oh, it's just Serves so over. Again, taken by the drift, going a little 18, long. 20. Still gained points to the former champions. That's why. It's 22 on 18. And Wong Xiao Li, world champions, continue their good form in the Chinese round of the tournament so far. Just 12 minutes for that opening game. The scoreline 21 18. Well, of course, because two Chinese pairs playing against each other. Chinese coaching staff don't want to get involved, don't want to show any bias. And the players just left to their own devices, got to sort out the tactics themselves. They'll be happy whichever pair wins. Chinese fans there. 20 seconds. Sure that info, 20 I did seconds. notice that Zhao Yunlei was having yet another word with the umpire, but again seemed to be happy. She was smiling at the umpire. I don't think she was complaining about anything. But Second game. difficult to understand. There she is. Level. Double Olympic champion, of course. Lady. First player ever in Badminton Olympic history to win two gold medals at the same Olympics. Of course, became the eighth player to win two Olympic gold medals, the seven other players One that have done that. She's, yeah, no wonder she lower. shakes her head. She's not in the best of form at the moment, and certainly she'll need to get her act together before the fifth and last final this afternoon because she's involved three in the mixed love. doubles with world and olympic champion partner zhang nang and they're up against the defending champions so she'll have to be on top form for that oh. ah. or not. Of sorts at the start of this second game now, i thought in the first game they were a little bit confused with their movement around each other the kind of shots that each other were playing no, they're going One, so four. well, they took massive advantage. No serve is short of the mark. In her qualities, Anthony are at the front of the court, aren't they? It's not to say that she's got any weaknesses from the back, but she is so good at the front, and they really need to get in a situation where they're involving her more at the front of the court if they want to win this final. Doubles is always won and lost with who commands the net. Attack will always be more dominant than defence, so whoever controls the net will be on the attack more often. Formerly a mixed doubles player and a very, very good one indeed is the dominant ladies net player for that partnership. And Zhao Yunlei is the net player for her partnership. So it is a contest between those two of who can get two. that net first. Hi! There's 
no question of who's winning that battle at the moment, Eight, is there? Two. You yeah. young, absolutely. Yeah. Top form, a movement forward so quick. She's so dynamic on on the top of the net. Serve, serve up. Three, eight. play from Cheng Shu and Zhao Yanlei. When they are on the attack, they do have a very powerful attack as well. Cheng Shu, I would say he's hitting it as hard as Wang Xiaoli. They just need to maintain that attack. to smile about it. She doesn't usually miss those, Yu Young. What's great to see is that she's going for every single one. That sends a message in its own right that you're willing to take on your opponents. Six, nine. And it almost forces them back. That's the thing, it's that positive forward movements that keep your opponents on the back foot. to play that little push to the half-court area. Definitely not the most dynamic into the net area, Wong Si Ali, but she does possess great skills. She's probably the one player on court that can do the double action shots. Seems to be able to hold the shuttle on the racket to wait till an opponent can move and then play it into the opening gap. That was a classic example. That's actually won a Super Series mixed doubles title, though, Wong Si Ali. That was the 2009 China Masters with Tao Jiaoming. So we know she can play the net. I think it's just in this women's doubles partnership. Her partner's better at the net, and of course she's more powerful from the back of the court. So it makes sense that she should play more from the rear court. Hey! In all doubles, players, whether it's women's doubles, women's doubles, there is always one player that is more dominant than the other in each area of the court. Feathers are put into the shuttle, left or right, and therefore Mother Nature doesn't make things exactly straight, and therefore every feather will have a slight curve on it, and therefore you have to have the left wing feathers for the shuttle to fly through. Eleven seven, late. Oh, it's going to land wide. Well in. Oh. So a little hesitant there. The young Eight, just eleven. struggled with the, the length today. You know, she's been playing here for the last four or five days, and I thought she'd be able to judge the lines by now. She 
she's still consistent to go forward at every chance she can. Definitely the most dominant player coming forwards. beginning to 13, run out of ideas, yes. not getting through with her defensive play. With her attacking play, I should say. Not only are their opponents that little bit stronger 14, overhead in the attacking yes. play, they do have a better defence as well. Yu Yang, to me, has probably the best defence on court. Not to say her partner's defence isn't exceptional, because it is. She just seems to be able to do whatever she wants with those shots, even under a lot of pressure. From the back of the court, hitting down, but getting no advantage at all. In fact, playing her partner into trouble. Shut her eyes and swung for that one. No. It's very unlucky. Oof. Goodness me, what a good call by the line judge. That was wide by a whisker. Serves over. That's Nine, sixty. From Wong Siali. There's the difference in the quality in the net play. Very simple put away. Drift as well. 79. And it will have a tendency to go wide on that line there. Drift going from left to right as we look down on the court. Oh! Super disguise. 89. It takes so much ability to be able to play that shot. I mean, it really did look like she was going to hit the really power smash. Rotated the fingers across the grip, which makes a reverse slice right at the last second. Serves over 10 18. <laughs> Two points away. And Serves the over second. Nine title 10. together. Beat the finalists last year, of course. Opportunities. has gone beyond 36 minutes. Today's final, one of the quickest so far. 21-18, 21 10 Wong Ali and Hu Yang are champions for a second time.
So let's get a word on the court from our two winners, Wang Chao Li and Yu Yang, uh, via our interpreter, Rachel, here. Uh, ladies, you're no strangers to success here. Why is the Yonex All England such a special competition to win? Um, why do you because um, all England um, badminton open competition um, has a such a long history, about 100 years, and uh, every player wants to play in this competition. Excellent. And uh, what about the incredible support that you've enjoyed here in Birmingham? A word to your fans. Um, uh, uh, so, Thank you, thank you all the Chinese supporters. Um, they always waving um, the, the flag and um, always um, support me. And then um, I come here every game and um, um, it's all thank you, all their support. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our women's doubles champions, Wang Zhou Li and Yu Yang. So nice to hear the Chinese players saying what a wonderful tournament the Onyx All England Open Badminton Championships are, the history, the tradition, the great champions that have been before. It's all set then for the presentations. To make the presentations for the women's doubles final here at the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships, please welcome Paul Jepson, Managing Director of Yonex UK, and Derek Batchelor, Chairman of Badminton England. And before we celebrate with our athletes, let's mark the contribution of the officials, our umpire Bert van Horenbeek of Belgium, and his service judge, Lax Sundavadra of England. They'll now receive commemorative medals from Derek Batchelor. to be third time lucky as far as Xiao Yunlei and Cheng Shu were concerned. Their third All England final and the third time they've had to settle for second best.
Our runners up, ladies and gentlemen, Chen Shu and Zhao Yunlei. Let's all congratulate our winners from China, Wang Jiali and Yu Yan. Champions two years ago and champions in 2013. Receiving their winners for all from Paul Jensen, Managing Director of Yonex UK. The All England Champions. 30th year of Yonex sponsorship for the All England Open Badminton Championships. Women's doubles final for Yu Young. Paul will also now present the winners with their OSIM U Relax. Women's doubles title. And finally receiving the Coveted Trophy, the Yonex All England Open Women's Doubles Badminton Champions of 2013 from China, Wang Jali and Yu Yang! Their ninth Premier Super Series title. Their 17th Super Series title in total. To say this pair of Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang are dominant is a little of an understatement. As the final picture to be taken for the press for later on today and tomorrow's back pages, our athletes will take a celebratory lap of honor. Around the National Indoor Arena, 16th title in women's doubles in 18 years goes to China.
to our second final of the day and it's men's doubles the unseeded Liu Xiaolong and Chu Sihan of China up against Kenichi Hawakawa and Hiroyuko Endo so let's go down courtside once again and join Howard Bentham let's make some noise Birmingham it's the men's doubles final from China, Liu Zhaolong and Kyu Zhang. Liu Xiaolong, the left-handed dynamic player, and Chu Zihan came to this year's All England Championships as an unseeded pair. Never previously beyond the.